Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create the Flappy Bird, like the bird himself. So, let's get started. First, we want to go to the Blueprints folder, and we want to right-click, and we want to create a new Blueprint class, and we want to make the type as character. Let's call his Blueprint class player underscore bird for example, or whatever you want, but yeah, that's good for me. Let's open it. Now what we want to do, we want to add a new component. We want to search for a paper flipbook, okay? And we can rename this to bird or flappy or whatever, okay? Now what we want to do, we want to get from the player bird and move it next to the level 1 and go back to level 1. Now we want to go to the resources folder and to the sprites and we want to select the frame 2 and right click and we want to... or actually, sorry, let's select all these so let's click on the frame 1 and keep the control pressed or oh, and select all of them and actually one tip you can also select all by clicking the first and keeping the shift pressed and clicking the last. It will select all. Okay, now let's right click Sprite Actions, Create Sprite. Okay, now let's right click on the frame to Sprite and create a flipbook. Now let's rename this to Idle. Okay, let's save. Let's go to the player bird. Now, here on the sprite, when we have selected the bird, paper flipbook component, now we can select the source flipbook, so the idle. Okay, this looks that it's super big, but actually it's good size. Okay, so let's go a little bit further like this. And now what we want to do is we want to click on our capsule component. And we want to change our capsule half height to 200. Also, capsule radius to 200. Okay. Next thing, what we want to do, we want to select our bird and set his location x to minus 100. Okay. Now you can see our capsule component is basically on the front side of the bird, or like basically on the on the face, you know. The next thing is we want to select our character movement and we want to scroll down until we see this planner movement. And from here we want to constrain to plane and we want to set the axis to Y. Okay. That means that our player character can only move on the Y axis. Okay, the next thing, what we want to do, we want to go to the event graph, and here we can actually delete all of this for now. And now we want to go to the edit and project settings, and we want to go to the input under the engine, and we want to create a new action mapping on the plus and let's uh, open this you know now let's create a new new action mapping let's call it jump or flap or whatever okay now let's select our key so let's click on here and left click after that okay now it has mapped the jump to the left mouse button okay we can close this and now here in player bird, let's right click and search for a jump. Now we have this action events jump here. Okay. And what we want to do next is we actually want to create a new custom event under here. So let's right click and search for a custom event. Let's call this jump event. Okay, 
Now from here, from the press, we want to call the jump event. We create it this way because later on we might have to call this jump event from somewhere else. So we don't from, so this way we can call it from wherever we want. Okay. Let's leave some space here because we will later on add some code here also. Now here on the jump event, what we want to do? We want to get the character movement. And we want to get from it and stop movement immediately. This is because when we have our layer going down uh, with the gravity and we click on screen, first we want him to stop before we add some, add any impulse or any mo uh, upwards movement. Okay, and also this way when we uh, click it super fast, it will not like multiply the upwards uh, force. So this is the best way, in my opinion. After that, what we want to do, we want to also get from the character movement and we want to add impulse. And we want to move this next to the stop movement immediately. And let's connect it. Let's add a reroute by double clicking on the, this line. Let's move it to here. Let's select both of these and press Q. Okay, now, what we want to do next, we want to actually create a new function. Uh, sorry, here. Let's call this gravity. Okay. And here on the gravity, what we want to do is we want to actually get our character movement. Let's leave some space here. We will add some code here later. From here, we want to add force. Let's get from here. Force we want to add is on the set we want to add minus two million. That sounds stupid but that's good value. So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Okay. Now we can actually try. So if we compile, save and go to level one and play. Oh, sorry. We actually have to add the bird to the game. So let's open our blueprints. So we actually want to add a player start. Add it to the game. Now the player start, we want to set the location set, uh, sorry, X to minus 250. Y to 13. Later on, I will ex on the next episodes I will explain why 13. Okay, it sounds weird now for now, but later on you will understand. And on the set we want to set it to zero. Okay. Now, when we play, we don't see anything. Oh, I'm so stupid. We have to go to the GM. Flappy, so to our game mode, and we want to actually, uh, if you are seeing different uh, view than I, it's because you have the full blueprint open. So here, on our details, we have this default pawn class. We want to click on that and select our player bird. Now we can compile. Let's actually save all, because I noticed that we have seven unsaved things. So let's save all. Okay, now let's go back to level one and let's play. And you can see we have our bird on the screen. But he's not yet doing anything. Okay. So now let's go back to the player bird. Here we have created this gravity function. Now let's go to the event graph. Let's actually right click on somewhere that we have where we have empty space. Let's search for a event. Okay, event tick. And here we want to call the gravity. So let's get from it and move it to here. Now let's connect it. Now if we play, nothing happens because we actually have to go to the background. And we want to click on the cube, which we can actually rename to background. Okay. 
and here on the details we want to scroll down and on the collision preset we want to click on it and no collision okay now if we compile save and close this we should have the bird falling down and as you can see we have gravity now let's make him jump so let's go back to the player bird and here on the on the event graph and on the jump event now we want to create the impulse upwards okay let's put here on the set 550 zero, zero, zero. so 550,000 that's good value in my opinion so let's press enter and let's play let's see now you can see we can jump when we click on the screen now let's make the bird play some kind of uh, flapping animation when we click so the next thing what we want to do we actually want to go back to the level one we want to go to the resources and to the sprites and we want to select all the frames so keep the control pressed frame one two three and four and we want to right click and create a flipbook from these okay let's call this flap or jump or or whatever <clears throat> let's open it you can see this is basically an animation but like 2d uh, with using like 2d sprites here what we want to do is we want to set the frames per second to 16 okay now we can save and close this okay now let's go to the level one uh sorry to the player bird here on the jump event after the add impulse what we want to do is we want to get our bird we want to get from it and we want to set flip book let's connect it and let's set it to our flap flip book okay now let's get from the bird again and set playback position okay let's connect it let's add a reroute to here let's set the position to zero now let's get once again from this bird and set play rate let's move it to here connect it let's add a reroute move here let's select all of these press q and let's actually move a little bit further down okay like that and play rate let's set it to one so we are setting our new flipbook setting it to start from the beginning and set the play rate to one so the normal play rate after that we want to add a delay delay of 0.25 seconds because our animation is playing 16 frames per second and it has uh, four rate four frames so it's one fourth of the of and second of a second long okay and after that what we want to do we want to select all these select them control c come here and control v okay let's connect these now we want to set the flip book back to the idle position zero and play right to zero okay like that now we should have our animation working so let's compile let's save all let's go to the level one let's play now when we press the left mouse button we can see our bird is flapping so yeah i think that was actually all for this video if you liked what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more yeah hope you have a great day and see you the next one